and uh, we're in the kitchen with the lovely Romola and we are remembering Tata Madiba through some of his favorite dishes and right now we are making a very easy chicken biryani. Romola, very nice to have you back in the kitchen. Thank you Ian, what a pleasure to be yes, here. Yes, and I love it when you come through because it's always so colorful and the textures and the flavors and everything is just so nice. Well today it's even more colorful and uh, mm. it's all in honor of our Tata Madiba. Indeed. And Indeed. Um, certainly a colorful dish. One of his favorites, he loved chicken yeah. biryani. Uh, one that he actually ordered for the, the president's, uh, the lady president, to be yes. specially made for him. So I chose a very easy chicken biryani from okay. our cookbook, which is quite simply uh, yeah. chicken with all the ingredients. With all the ingredients, I like it. Okay, so quickly tell us, run us through what we have here, and then let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start straight with the, the chicken pieces, which needs to be trimmed down of fat. Okay. and uh, also also skinned and then a whole range of ingredients the first thing that we must have with a proper biryani is queso yes. which is saffron queso. saffron, there saffron we, yes. is one strand from every crocus flower yeah. and that's what makes up saffron okay a very sort of uh, expensive dish but yeah. um, then we go into the basic um, nice. ingredients which is garlic. ginger garlic sorry there we go garlic some turmeric for color mm -hmm. not too much and Salt. I know that when this chicken hits the heat, it's going to just release all of that lovely Some flavors. red masala, which is nice. a blend. Again, the green yes. one. We use both of it. Yeah. And all of this with a bit of coriander leaves. Oh. You're going to now marinate it in this marvelous yogurt. Nice. It's just a plain, plain yogurt. That's right. And the Great. way I do that, I normally just slip my hands into a bag. Okay. A nice little tip for all our viewers. Oh, and away we go. That. We so, marinate. So tell we, me quickly, yeah. I believe your father was an undercover spy. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not be that strong. Not, not a that spy, strong. But, undercover. Uh, in, the late, in the late 50s, yes. my dad was very much involved in the Indian National uh, Congress. Oh, yes, there we go. And so uh, with the African Na National Congress, with some uh, very, very important or rather um, influential members, they used to have quiet meetings up in our lounge and we were little and small we were sort of told to stay aside the door was locked and i knew something was going on behind the doors yeah. um it, it sort of led into yeah. uh, quite a few things and ultimately at the end of the day he was banned and not allowed he wasn't banned but he wasn't yeah. allowed to leave south africa so ever since his time that he arrived in South Africa, he never had a chance to go back to his motherland. So that was very painful for us because we yeah. knew that he actually, that was one of his dreams. But oh, uh, he had boy. his share in this world and so did our family, you know. We've, yeah. I've got a brother-in-law, uh, Mr. Shortu Carson, out mm. in Utenek, he's late now, was very involved in uh, this sort of thing as well. So there are quiet people out there doing their bit. Yeah, and, and I'm trying to do my nice bit here. You're doing, a, you, <laughs> you're doing your bit perfectly, but it's just so nice to hear these stories coming out and taking a look where we are now and see how far we have come as a nation, as a country. Right, and you know, with, with Tata as well, he, he grew fond of spices and yes. uh, all of these sort of ingredients because of the fact that there was such an involvement with the Indian yeah. community. Oh, okay, so nice and hot, nice and hot pot. I'm going to just allow the chicken to steam for a while. To steam and, for yes, a while. So we allow that to cover. We'll presume that this is about 30 minutes of cooking, which yes. will soften. Okay. Because we have to move into the next stage. Now, the other thing about biryani is to individually fry up everything. So we start up with uh, onions, which have been deep right. fried. Uh, potatoes, which has been given a lovely coat. Not cooked, but just the coating. Yes. Uh, some rice, good basmati rice, just cooked to the pinch. Just. Uh, if you uh, pinch it, you'll see it's just undercooked. Okay, so... Okay, some brown lentils. Um, sorry, I needed to put mm. the tomatoes in with that. And all of that, I think you need to pre-cook. You know, it's yes. pretty much a good party dish, this. Yeah. Because you can do all of that the day before. And then come right. the day, away we go. So you it's really not that difficult. Pot. You have everything laid out and you just straight forward. That's right. Do you have to use the whole chicken pieces or can you use, like chicken cut up already or what oh, is your way? No, chicken pieces but usually on the bone. The, bone, the bone gives you an incredible amount of uh, flavor. Okay. And most of our, our dishes are done with uh, chicken on the bone. But of course cutting away with the skin Brilliant. and the fat. So we start off um, with a layer of rice at the bottom. I put some bay leaves at the bottom yes. and the potatoes because that's, oh, that's probably the, the, the thing that's going to take the longest to cook through. Yes. So I put that at the bottom. 
And uh, to continue, I'm just going to oh. put a little bit of that onion as well. This chicken smells divine. It is. I promise you, so it's a dish you can lovely. keep for a week <gasps> and enjoy it. And thereafter, we take the chicken that's been steamed through and pop that in. Can you hold that for me? For sure. There we go. Let's just layer the chicken. That looks oh. amazing, doesn't it? And I love that colour as well. Mm. Nice and yellow, mustardy colour. I think the best colour of all is the colour of saffron. Thanks so much. That's it. This so, we finish the dish now by completing... Uh, by adding the rest of the rice over that. And, you know, because it's a Madiba yes. special and uh, my, my Tata's uh, favourite dish, I want to add some cashew nuts in memory of, well, you know, yes. give him the best. So oh. cashew nuts go to the top. You if know you what, want I'm a big fan of cashew nuts. It just adds a little extra crunch to the dish and it's really nice to have. You can pop and in whole some egg. whole egg and smother it with onions on top. Mm, that is Maybe beautiful. a bit much, but um, usually yeah. some of the onion can go at the bottom, but there we go. There you go. If you've uh, just tuned in, Romola is making us one of Tonto's favorites, a oh, very yes. easy chicken biryani. And you can just log on to our website for Keep all the details. Keep it nice and moist. Or you can SMS sorry. the keyword chicken, sorry Romola, chicken 233728, and we'll send you on the Pick and Pay shopping list and a link to the recipe. Oh. And there goes the mar marvellous saffron. The saffron. You know what? No we're biryani is complete without that. Oh, and that creates such nice flavour as well. So we're going to finish this one up, but if you've missed any of the steps, here's a quick look back. Mix turmeric, ginger, garlic, red and green masala and coriander, then rub onto the chicken to marinate. Fry onions, then set aside. Fry the potatoes, then set aside. Cook the chicken with the yogurt and tomatoes for 30 minutes. In a pot, layer potatoes, ghee and bay leaves, then top with rice and lentils. Top with the chicken, more rice and lentils and saffron. Cover and steam for one hour. And that keyword once again, chicken to 33728 SMS that and you will receive the pick and pay shopping list and a link to the recipe and you can eat just like Tata Mantiba did with this very easy chicken biryani. Romola, thank you very, very much. Thank um, you so much and on behalf of all the Hindus of South Africa, I would like to convey our special condolences to the family, the Mandela family and peace be with our father's spirit. Peace be with our father's Shanti. That's very, very nice. Ramola, thank you so much for coming through this morning. It's always so nice to have you in the kitchen. Isn't she just lovely? We love Ramola. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be digging into my easy chicken biryani this morning. Remember that, key, uh, that keyword once again, chicken, two, three, three, seven, two, eight. You'll get the shopping list and a link to the recipe. Right now, though, time for some news from Pick and Pay and Avios with some great prizes up for grabs. Check it out.